Okay, today we are going to look at a video. Uh, uh, Trump supporters crash Mayor Bill de Blasio's Green New Deal rally. Now, apparently he did this at, like, Trump Towers, which, isn't that private property? Why do you... Maybe he paid for it. Um, one, how do you know they're Trump supporters? Maybe they're people with common sense if you bother to read the Green New Deal. Also, isn't New York facing like a $2 billion shortfall? We're here to talk about the New York City Green New Deal. Mayor Bill de Blasio said he walked into Trump Tower today to put the Trump Organization on notice over the city's Green New Deal. Okay, so you walked into private property. Uh, you can't hold a rally on private property. And the fines the buildings may face in 2030 if they don't comply. It would be over $2 million a year. Cut your emissions or we will cut something you really care about. We will take your money. But all anyone really wanted to talk about was what seemed to be the less than ideal optics for his press conference. Check out the Trump supporters in the back. Okay, First maybe on the escalators, are. then right behind the mayor. Finally, right next to where the press conference was taking place. Chanting so loudly, at times the mayor could barely be understood. It's so nice of them to serenade us here at Trump Tower. They're just Well, yeah. There are people that don't like this. Because have you seen the Green New Deal? Also, it's dead. It died seven fucking weeks ago. Not a single Democrat voted for it. Not a single Republican voted for it. And again, is New York not facing a financial crisis? Music to my ears. And listen closely to the very real music playing as the mayor spoke. We'll convert to 100% renewable energy. The building turned up the volume of their music right before the press conference even started. Well, it is private property, so they can do what they want. How, do, if it was my building, I'd have just called the fucking cops on him. Get his ass out of here. The mayor, who at times was yelling into the microphone, said it was due to the rainy weather that his team made a last minute decision to change the location of the press conference from outside of Trump Tower to- Well, they could do it outside. Outside is the sidewalk, it's public. Inside is Trump's private property. Like Trump or not, I don't give a fuck. And yes, if this was some right-wing asshole and they went to uh, Mark Zuckerberg or Jack, or, or the Twitter offices, and let a speech about breaking up big tech, I'd be like, what the fuck you guys doing in there? So, no, you don't get to go into people's private property and then hold a fucking rally, unless you have paid for the lobby. Now, if you have, then okay, I don't got a problem with that to inside the building. You'll have to ask the team. It's a public place. At times, reporters had... No, it's not. I can't fucking... Uh, I, I can't fucking go into a goddamn Target and protest they don't have porn there, for example. I mean, who the fuck pays for porn anyway? But you get my point. Target is, yes, open to the public... But it's not public property. It is private property. That's why Target can kick me out. <laughs> no. That's why Blockbuster, open to the public. I, I, I'm going to date myself here. That's why Blockbuster and Hollywood Video and Video Up, not Video Update, uh, Video, Video, ah, whatever the fuck. Maybe it was Video Update. I don't know. Whatever, let's just go with Blockbuster. Everybody had a Blockbuster. That's why Blockbuster was not forced to carry porn. Because they're not a public entity. They don't have to deal with the First Amendment. This is a private space, jerk off. I had to go up to the podium so he could hear our questions. 
So on his way out, right after he passed by the Trump supporters, we asked him. So Mr. Mayor, no regrets at all about holding the presser here. Never any regrets. Oh my God. Swing by. Maybe, just maybe it's because people, I'm sorry, Democrats, but until you get the plot back, you're going to keep losing, and it is going to be, uh, it is going to be Trump 2020. Sorry, but it's true.